They say we have the cutest packaging. I haven't made my mind up, should I keep it? Should I keep it? I got Haters be like, I see your little business booming. And it's showing the feels. <laughs> Honey, you can't bring me down because you already below me. Here's my card and an application. Come work for me. All right, besties, let's get ready to launch my business. Oh my God, we're launching. So the first step was just triple checking literally everything on my site and she turned out real cute. Then making sure obviously my office space is super clean and tidy so I can work as effectively as possible. And then I started to prepackage some of the bundles just to save me some time when we actually launch. And of course, staying safe, mask on. And this was actually one of my favorite parts. It's just so therapeutic packing them all and it's just so satisfying. I don't know, there's something about it. And then of course getting ready for the launch, wearing my lipstick in shade Pinky Promise. All the palettes in my... best friend stole my business idea. My best friend at the time wanted to start a cosmetics business too, which I was fully supportive of. They came up with their own business ideas, but there were a lot of similarities. My slogan is skincare and streetwear, and theirs was cosmetics and apparel. They started to copy my products and packaging, but I didn't want us to fall out so I didn't mention it. My boyfriend at the time always told me, I was overreacting. They took a tweet off my profile, cropped and reposted, and continued to copy my packaging, fonts, logo. When they asked me about whether I was annoyed about it, they were very intense. My brand has changed so much since then, so it's not an issue, but we are no longer friends. The jury would like to call to the stand a key witness in this case. You are facing a first-degree murder charge. How do you plead? I plead 
innocent. Okay, let's proceed. So I was there just minding my business when all of a sudden I felt this sickness. Uh -huh. I went on a drive just to clear my head, but when I got home, he'd already been dead. <gasps> of course, I cried, then I called the police, and they asked me who I was to the deceased. My job dropped what? in disbelief. Oh my God. Were they really about to interrogate me? I got my lawyer on the phone, and I told him what I'd done. He said, honey, I don't know if I can get you out of this one, and then... And what did you do? I'm sorry, what? You admit that you did something. <clears throat> I didn't admit to anything. So his will had nothing to do with it? No, I didn't do anything. I mean, yeah, I was in his will, and I was going to get billions of dollars when he died, but that has nothing to do with the fact that he died. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. Expectation versus Reality, Small Business Edition. First, show us the product you thought was going to be your best seller versus what turned out to be your actual one. Next, show us the product you thought was a great idea, but in reality turned out to be a bit of a mess. <laughs> Lastly, show us the product you ordered tons of and can't seem to get rid of versus the one you never can seem to keep in stock.